Welcome to this rig demo for the Bones character that you can find and download for free from digitalcreatorschool.com. And all you have to do is enter in your name and your email address, click the little download button here, and you will have an immediate download of this skeleton character here that I'm calling Bones. It will work in Autodesk Maya 2018 and above. And you can find the course that I teach how to create this character and rig from scratch at both of these sites. So if you want to learn how to make this for yourself, go check out those courses called Maya for Beginners. So once you have the file downloaded, it'll come as a zip file. So you just need to unzip it. And then there's a couple files inside of here. There's a readme file that just talks about how to reconnect the textures if they're not connected. There are links to the course in which this rig was made if you want to go check out those courses again. And then there's two textures, one for his head and one for his hat. And we can open this now inside of Maya. I will uh, just click and drag this in. That also opens it. So now we have the rig. Let's hit six and our textures should be synced up. If they're not, you can click on the head and go to the attribute editor, scroll all the way over to the bone head one. And then in the color, you can map to the correct file, but it's already mapped there because we can see that. The felt texture won't pop up or show for the hat but once you render, it will show up in the render. So don't worry if this is still gray. So there's a couple little features of the rig. One is uh, the hat has two kind of main pivots and it's meant, uh, this one is a secondary one that you can, you know, kind of uh, have a secondary pivot from this main control here so that the hat can pivot not from the center. So that's one nice little thing. The other thing that I would advise you to do if you want to put the hat on the character's head is to constrain it to uh, constrain the hat group, uh, not this controller. So you still have this controller. So if we go uh, hit uh, F here, let's go to the control hat group here. And if we select the controller for the head and we command click in the outliner, this group, we can go to constrain parent. Let's open up the option box, have maintain offset on, hit apply. And now the hat should follow the character's head. And we still have control of these controls because we did it, the, we did the constraint on the group and not the control itself. That's one big thing to remember. So it's a pretty straightforward rig. It's meant for learning. So it's not too complicated. There are a couple custom controls here that you can change on the hands so that you can change from different world spaces. So let's say we want to, you know, put our hand on the table and instead of the hand following the body, we can make it follow the world if we go to follow and choose world. So now when we move the character around, that arm should stay there. So the other little thing that, um, you know, if you follow the rigging course, this is about, this is just an option I chose is to have the pole vector follow the wrist. But, you know, if you follow the course, you can decide not to do that yourself as well. The other kind of little custom attribute is the foot roll, which is pretty basic. And then there are some blend shapes to this character, but they're a little bit hidden. And that's kind of, kind of on purpose, because again, this is a, a learning rig, so I, want to force people to learn how to do blend shapes for themselves. And so for that, you need to follow the course, but let's dive in and, and I can show you a little bit of how to activate the blend shapes. We can select the head geometry, hit F in the outliner to find out where it is. Then we can see this group is hidden here called BS, bones, rig, six feet. And uh, just real quick, he is six feet tall in real units. So if you wanted to scale him down, all you have to do is select his locator, which is the root control, and then you can scale him down and everything should scale uh, evenly and, and work all together. So let's go back to the blend shapes. We have selected the head, we found it in the outliner, and we can see this bones rig six feet blend shape group. It's hidden, so let's hit Shift H to unhide it. And then we have all of our blend shape heads and it's controlled, all the blend shapes are controlled through this buffer blend shape head. So if we go over to the expressions input here with this head selected, we get access to all of these blend shapes. Okay, and we could animate straight from here, just hit keyframes on these, uh, right click hit uh, key selected, or we could do set driven keys on the head, which I also teach about how to do in the course to make the rig a little easier. Uh, I encourage you to watch the course again to uh, you know be able to get familiar with making this your own kind of a rig. 
The other thing to note about the blend shapes is I did leave in an extra head. There's an extra control here. You can tell it doesn't do anything, but let's turn it on. And then the last head over here has nothing done to it. So if we just select some of the vertices and I'll uh, maybe do a, a soft selection and move this around, you can see I, I could actually add a blend shape if I wanted to. So uh, that's one, one option that you have to not have to go through the whole rig and uh, rigging process. You can just model if you need a specific head, you can just model it on this last one, and it is under the extra uh, control here. So we'll just turn that off, and we'll just run through some of these. Highbrow, and then wide eye, and then angry, and then blink. So with those couple of simple blend shapes, you could do quite a bit. And of course, you have your own extra one to model if there's something specific you'd like to see in it. And again, you know, if, if you know how to rig, you can just keep adding blend shapes to this head. I'm gonna keep adding the blend shapes to this head. It's called a buffer blend shape I talk about in the course. But uh, yeah, so that is basically the rig. You can get it at digitalcreatorschool.com. I encourage you to download it, play with it, use it however you like to, and check out the courses on Skillshare and Udemy where I cover how to create this rig and model from scratch in this course called Maya for Beginners. So I highly encourage you to check it out. It's 26 hours of training. Uh, you will become a master of sorts <laughs> of Autodesk My if you take this class. So use the link, um, any of the links from the website, you'll get a discount code. If you, if you click here, you'll also get a discount code when you open the file in the zip file. This has the discount code here, and I will also include it in the link below this video. Also subscribe to this channel for new updates about courses, new rigs that I'll probably put out in the future. And pretty soon I will be doing weekly content on YouTube, but in the near future, I'm gonna be doing a lot more stuff on YouTube. So please subscribe here for those updates. You can catch me on Twitch. I'm uh, actually an animator on The Last of Us Part Two, So I'm currently playing through The Last of Us Remastered. So I get familiar with the game. I'm also on Instagram, just past a thousand followers. We're on Facebook as well. So I'll see you in one of those places. Thanks for watching.